She says she likes my watch, but she wants Steve's AP, and she stay up all hours watching. It's been a whole 12 months since I've had the pleasure of talking to Mr. Temper. Sorry for looking a little bit frazzled, but it's hot in here tonight, isn't it? It's very hot today. <laughs> How are you feeling to be back in Ibiza? I'm happy. I'm very, very happy to be back. Uh, we're back here doing it again 12 months on, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And what a crazy 12 months it's been for you. I mean, we've had awards, the breaking of America, an album. Tell us a little bit about what you've been up to since we last spoke to you. I've been in America a lot over the past couple of months. I'm just trying to make it happen out there. Written in the Stars has done incredibly well out there, which I'm really happy about. Um, obviously, there's been two Brit Awards, which has been insane, and I have a novella. And um, we've obviously got the um, uh, Nordoff Robbins uh, Best Newcomer Award, which I'm really happy about. Uh, we've been doing a whole bunch of festivals, Glastonbury, Wireless, you know, headlining Global Gathering in a couple of weeks. So I'm happy, man. It's all been going really well. I was actually going to touch on Glastonbury because that was just a couple of weeks ago. Last year you appeared with Snoop Dogg this year. You had like centre stage, I mean, and how was that? That was amazing. That's an experience of a lifetime. You know, you hope that one day in your career you can get on that bell where you're on the pyramid stage amongst some great artists. And um, yeah, I mean, it was an amazing opportunity. I'm happy you about that. And you've had an album out in the last 12 months. We know that I think there's a second one on the way. Yeah. Um, you've been collaborating with anybody on that? Yeah, do you know what? Just been working on the second album, but keeping a lot of things under wraps at the minute. Don't really want to give too much away. I still like that kind of surprise when people see the set list for the first time or the track list Java, and it's like, oh my God, he worked with this person and that person. So I'm going to wait, hold out and keep it a surprise. We have a lot of questions come in on the fan page and, and a lot of people want to know like what your inspiration is for your music, how it all kind of began and like, you know, how, how you continue to write new material. Um, my inspiration is London, the, well mostly anyway, um, just the fact that London is a pretty unique place, you know, there's uh, rich people and poor people, the proximity is not too far between, you know, whereas in loads of other places, even in Ibiza, like when you look around, some of the nicer areas are so far away from the less nicer areas, in England everybody's kind of in the mix together, in London rather. And that kind of inspires me a lot. Other than that, just kind of seeing the world and all these new things that I encounter, all the new people I meet and all the amazing things I've done, really. What can we expect from you here tonight? Um, it's just going to be a lot of fun. I'm happy to be back and I'm just going to let people know that, you know. We're going to throw down, you know, the songs do what they do and we're just going to have a great time. And it was the busiest night when you were here last year and it looks like you've broken a record here tonight as well. Yeah, I just want to thank all the fans um, obviously coming out to our beef and coming to see me do my thing. Uh, thank you so much for the support and I hope you guys are having an amazing time out here. It's a lot of fun, make sure you make the most of it. Good luck with the set and it's great talking to you again. Likewise, thank you. You can find me on a table full of vodka and tequila Surrounded by some bunnies and it ain't f***ing Easter I'll wake up in the morning with a market so bad means With a girl that like a girl like Lindsay Lohan